day, everybody. Thanks for joining us for Wake Up Charlotte to Go. I'm Ben Thompson. We'll get to the day's headlines in just a second. But first, let's go ahead and get to check the forecast right now with Larry Sprinkle. Larry. Well, let's talk about the sunshine that we have out there today. We're not talking about any stormy weather this morning. Sunshine, blue skies, at least for into the middle part of the day. Warming up in the low 80s. Stray afternoon shower, thunderstorm, much cooler Thursday and Friday. In fact, check out the temperature trend over the next several days. We're above average today that we drop into the 70s for a couple of days. Nice rebound for the beginning of next week and then the middle next week temperatures fall way way below average out there today 85 for the high temperature Rockingham over in Richmond County North Carolina up around Lincolnton 82 there 65 at Boone 81 at Chester low 80s in the Charlotte metro area overnight tonight it's going to cool down to 48 Boone 48 at Hickory low 50s in the Charlotte metro area check your seven day forecast for today once again we're going to be in the low 80s nice dry weather comfortable tomorrow in the 70s more of the same on Friday Saturday morning we're down to 40 Seven for a low rebound at about 75 in the afternoon. Mother's Day looking very pleasant. We'll be in the low 80s and Monday, Tuesday of next week could be a couple of thunderstorms, at least about four days in a row of pretty close to perfect weather. And that's your forecast this morning, Ben. All right, Larry, thanks. Turning now to more top stories of the day. Today is an important deadline for CMS parents. Listen up. It is your last chance to weigh in on remote learning plans, not for this month or next month, but for next school year. Good morning, I'm Billie Jean Shaw. Today is the final day for parents who have students enrolled in virtual learning academies here in CMS to weigh in on whether or not they will like that same option for next school year. The district actually sent out this survey. They're getting responses. They're going to take a look at it and then take those responses to the board who will then make the final decision on if an online academy would work for next school year. Good Wednesday morning. Uh, Mecklenburg County Health Director says they need a dedicated response team to handle COVID-19. Yesterday, she went to county commissioners and asked and received the ability to hire some 26 employees whose job it will be to focus on helping fight coronavirus in the county. They say the battle could last some two to three years. Today, Governor Cooper will visit the Queen City. He's going to tour a Mecklenburg County Vaccine Clinic with Health Secretary Mandy Cohen this afternoon. The governor also set to speak at a charity event connected to the Wells Fargo Championship. Walmart and Sam's Club now offering walk-in COVID vaccines here in the Carolinas. All their pharmacies will now give you a shot with no appointment necessary. They say you do need, you do not need to be a Sam's Club member to get the vaccine there. Time now to connect the dots when we make the news make sense. We are just a day away from major construction in York County. The southbound lanes of I-77 bridge above the Catawba River will be closed for a few weeks. Despite the usual delays we're used to seeing with big construction projects, officials have several measures in place to make sure this one, this one gets completed on time. South Carolina Department of Transportation officials say they are confident this project will get done in time. But construction projects almost always deal with delays, so why would this be any different? Let's connect the dots. Crews will be working 24 hours a day. They're also staying in a local hotel, very close to where they're working. The workers are all fully vaccinated. That's important. It means COVID won't be a reason this project gets delayed. But what happens if it rains? Weather almost always seems to derail these things. DOT officials say rain is not an issue with this type of project and crews will work through it. And we all know money talks. The contractors will be fined $10,000 per hour. They're late. And that is Connecting the Dots. And, and no matter what happens, this is going to be a major traffic headache over the next few weeks. Officials say prepare for big delays in and around that area. The South Carolina Department of Transportation also says they've set up an area where they're going to monitor traffic in real time and adjust traffic lights if needed to keep traffic moving. Again, this all starts tomorrow, 9 p.m., so it will be your Friday morning commute that's really first impacted. Now to some stories to keep you and your family safe and sound today. Getting a rental car just got way easier. You can now rent one through Uber. The company just launching Rent with Valet, which will deliver a rental car straight to your door. When you're done, a driver will meet you to take the car back. The service is set to launch in D.C. this month with plans to expand nationwide throughout the year. It's the summer of yes. You heard it here, folks. First, new research found people are more willing to commit to plans than ever before. Of course, it's because we've been cooped up during this pandemic. The top things people are offering to say yes to this summer, travel, spending more time with family and friends, and trying something new. So if you've been trying to convince your loved one to trying that really cool thing, skydiving, I don't know, something. This is your summer. 
Make sure you watch us every single weekday morning starting at 4.30 a.m. on Wake Up Charlotte.